pathogens awakened from melting permafrost can pose a serious threat. Global warming is causing the gradual melting of the permafrost, which may lead to the release of microorganisms dormant for thousands of years. Computer simulations have shown that ancient pathogens can survive and thrive in modern microbial communities, destroying diversity and becoming the dominant species. Scientists emphasize that the effects of this are unpredictable and the awakening of pathogens can threaten ecosystems and man himself. Can pathogens once common on Earth, dormant for millennia in glaciers, polar ice caps and permafrost, emerge from melting ice and destroy modern ecosystems? According to an international team of scientists led by Giovanni Strona from the University of Helsinki and the European Commission's Joint Research Center, the risk is real. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, PLOS Computational Biology. If the permafrost melted enough for ancient pathogens to be released, they would make a rather extraordinary journey through time and find themselves in a completely new, unfamiliar environment. However, the analyzers carried out showed that they would do quite well in it. This was discovered by scientists who created computer simulations to show how these released microorganisms would behave if they were in a modern microbial environment. For the purposes of these simulations, a kind of digital version of a Petri dish was created, on which a number of different virtual bacteria and an ancient pathogen from permafrost were placed. As Page explained, these digital versions actually behave just like real bacteria that compete for resources, multiply, and interact with their environment. The use of the digital version gives scientists an easy opportunity to quickly repeat the entire experiment in order to capture all possible variants of its course. The results of the simulations surprised the researchers from the very beginning, because the ancient pathogens easily found themselves in the new environment and could even evolve in it. The most surprising fact is that in 3% of cases, they were able to cope with the competition in the form of modern bacteria and become the dominant microorganism. In other cases, however, they contributed to an increase in microbial diversity. However, there have also been situations that seem to be of particular concern to scientists. These are cases in which the analyzed pathogens behaved in an unpredictable way, i.e. it was expected that their versions would not cope in a given environment. While they turned out to be extremely effective in their activities, and even quite aggressive towards other microorganisms, this may be a potential challenge for science, especially medicine. Because preparing for such a variant is significantly more difficult. We also need to bear in mind, when thinking about the potential impact of currently frozen microorganisms on humans, that we are operating in an environment that is stable in this respect, and this stability has developed over thousands of years. Placing an additional factor in it could cause a kind of butterfly effect in it by disturbing the existing balance. In other words, these pathogens could have a cascading effect, thus affecting even much larger ecosystems, which could collapse, and even threaten the existence of some other species.
and it certainly wouldn't be without an impact on people as well.